Hey guys, welcome back to Dutch Modeling with another inbox review. Uh, let's start with this little kitty I got from uh, Cohen C. I want this one with his uh, Curse Group build. Uh, sorry again for the dogs in the background. They're still my neighbors. They're still alive. I wonder how long that's gonna take though. Uh, back to this one. Like I said, I won this one with uh, Cohen C's uh, Curse Group build. Very pleased with it. It's a very nice looking kit. It's the uh, Dragon Production 135 uh, Storm Panzer 4 Brombeer. It's an early production with Zimmerit. The SD KFZ 166, if you want to know. Um, it's very cool. Box art, as you see. And then here you've got some camo schemes. Keep you out of the with and without the side skirts or shirts and I got the box art with the number on it got some uh, cat drawings of the stuff that's in there you can choose which uh, exhaust you want and then you got the photos of the molded on Zimmerit as you can see and on this side again we got the box art so let's open the Oh yeah, on the back of course, a very nice looking cat drawing of the assembled, assembled vehicle with some tell you, magic tracks, one piece fitted compartment or superstructure, the barrel with rifling, uh, side skirts in metal to exceed uh, scale thickness. The fully detailed gun, I don't know why you want that. You got even the gunner seats with realistic structure or texturing. I wonder how much of an interior is in there. I think you can length to make a leather look on the seat. You probably have some more interior than you think. So I'm gonna have to I'll put you guys on silent because Facebook group is pinging me all the time. Open the box, what we got? Of course the instructions, we go over that first in a second. Then we got the nice dragon card. The code wedge. There's a Schutzen. Tow cable and a par some folded parts. Oh, not too much. As you all know how I like photo wedge, so this is a good one. Uh, of course the decals. Maple cartograph, so they're good. And the magic tracks, they are handed by the looks of it because they're in different color, as you can see. So, no, we have taken them out, of course. And we got one, three. a box full of spruce. We got two. Well, first, let's start with the instructions. Put these there, these here, so you can see them. Yeah, it will be good. Well, uh, first looks first. You gotta get a load of spare parts, as you can see here and there. Uh, a load of sprues also, sprue numbered like Dragon, you know it. Start with, as usual, the colors are Model Master, Equinus Hover Color, and Mr. Color. So that's also nothing special. And then they start with the row wheels, the suspension, fitting on everything on the bottom plate, wheeling. Mm. Multiple parts, multiple parts on the drive wheel system. Mm, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight part only for the driveway, drive wheel uh, fittings. So you cut that one up for you. Uh, let's see, assembly for the exhaust, piping, fitting of the exhaust, preparing the back plate for mounting. 
going back to the front plate, mounting the hedges and the spare tracks, and then it's and the lower armor plate, sprocket wheels going on, and the return rollers going on, and sprocket wheel, all the wheels going on here, and then the fenders being prepared for mounting. Uh, putting the tools and stuff on the fenders, putting the fenders on the lower hole. Uh, let's see, these are going to be the engine deck, it's going to be prepared here. And the engine deck, this is the... Okay, these are the sides of the engine decks, yeah, okay, it's a race engine deck then. And then we go in, this is on the... Inside, this is the uh, mounting of the uh, machine gun, hatches, viewing ports. Uh, yeah, going on everything. Mm, what's that? Don't know. I think gas tanks or something, external gas tanks, something like that. Oh no, this is the. Uh, uh, exhaust again, the building here. Then the antennae go on, the main uh, superstructure. The superstructure being for the gun. My hand is going in, assembly of the main a cannon. Is it more than a gun? It is a real sized cannon. Um, aiming system going on, chairs going on. Breach block and stuff is going to be built next. It's all put together, then you've got the roof of the superstructures going on. Then the, super, the gun is placed inside the superstructure, the spare wheels are fitted on the back. Then, only then they're telling you to make the uh, tracks, so that's very late in, a, in the uh, construction, they learned by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, putting on the spare wheels. And without side skirts telling you what to put where and if you want the side skirts. So here you have to choose with or without side skirts and how you to mount them. And then you've got a two, uh, one for a scheme. And that's the unidentified unit on the eastern front in 1943. That's it, that's everything you got. So. <coughs> It's gonna be a nice build. Long Dragon is overcomplicated, of course, but we'll see about that. Uh, some of the instructions like these are are very busy, of course, but then others are very good to make sense of. So it's not too bad. They got worse. So as for the instruction, let's go to the rest. Start with the lower hole. Throw that away. Uh, some nice simmer texturing. Not all even, it's very, very random. So that's a good thing. And then I can show you guys. You can probably see without that thing. You can see that the zimmer is on it. So rivets. It's very nicely done. Different varying thicknesses, varying directions as you can see there. So that's nice. A lot of detail on the bottom side also. That's the plus for dragging there. And down the superstructure screw. These are two. Let's start with this one. So this is the, the main superstructure. Again, very nice. Uh, zimmered on it. All around, different thicknesses, different directions and stuff. And here is the, I guess it's the back plate with the, oh, this is the engine deck. And also on the sides they got zimmered on it. So also very nicely detailed, you see. See 
here, ground it. So now everything in all directions, different, you can you see inside here, Dif different thicknesses, different forms, and you can see like they made when they were applying it, something went wrong like you can see, so that's very nice, here's the engine deck, the sides, the top, and the other side, so, uh, there you are, see, that's very nicely molded, it's, can't be easy for them. Whoosh. Yeah, they did it on every kit that had Zim on it historically. Here we get the mounting points of the shirts. We got a side plate of the engine jack, I think, or top plate with a uh, refueling hatch. And some uh, hang up points for the spare wheels. And some. And some more distances, and uh, I don't know what those are. Again, some very crisp molding. See there? Very thin, finely. Yeah, spare wheels. I have no clue what those are. To be I think those are for the uh, the sides of the uh, exhaust. Now seeing them like that. And some very small. So that that will be shit to get off those two. You know, the exhaust pipes. But it's very nice also. Oh, we'll put it in a little time. <coughs> Next, there are some smaller screws. Let's see if these are all individuals or doubles. No, it's everything is individual, so no doubles here. Uh, I'm guessing these will be the spare wheels, probably. Uh, oh, even the, 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 the manufacturer's name on the side. Oh, that's nicely done. Open visual on camera. See, there's the text. It's not very readable, but they're pretty small. They got it all, as you can see. So that's nicely done, that's a nice touch. Mm. Yeah, mounting points. Here's one of the antennae, and the return for reflectors and lights, and hang up points and stuff. And again, this that one will be a joy to clean up. I probably will be, will be re replacing that one. Just cutting that off just there on the base. And then putting the metal wire in. Stiff metal wire. Probably in my show though. Uh, some more hang up points. By the looks of it. I'm not really sure what those are. But again, very small pieces. Very thin, but very clean. So there's no flash or whatever. Um seems like this will be some spacers or extra added armor or something. So that's it. And then here we got the a two part uh, jack and some more parts. That got a pretty a decent amount of flash on it, for especially for a dragon kit. No. Jack, and let's see if I can get it in. But I saw it's flash on the sides of that thing. You probably cannot see it. There it is. There. Pretty hard getting it in. You see there. Oh, that's, that's everything on the uh, what flash right in this kit. I won't be complaining. I'm gonna put these small pieces back in the bag in its bag because if they break off for what reason then they're gone. And that's not something we want. The bigger parts I'm not worried about. If they break off they will be you will find them back in the docks. But somehow, if those smaller parts break off of the spruce, 
and you try to get him back in the spark and uh, if you go, try to find him again they're gone it's just like socks in the washing machine they just disappear so that's the reason why I'm now screwing around with this one getting it back in because if I don't do it now I forget it well that's because my memory is great <laughs> That's that. Next up, more small parts and clear parts. See what we got here. Yeah, vision blocks. A completely clear uh, scissors telescope. I see there. Vision blocks. No telescope. More vision blocks and stuff, so that's not too bad. And then we got the machine gun for the yeah, whole mounted machine gun. Uh, the air cooler is very nicely molded, the grip is very nicely molded, everything is very nicely molded on this thing. No flash, as far as I can see. You just see for yourself. So you see the very nicely detailing on this thing. Oh, also the hand grip, as you can see there. And there are the bipods open, closed, and the uh, ammo chamber lit. Just give it a name. Uh, there's also something I don't know which what. Again. Next crew we got no clue. Now that happens often but always you know. I got a toolbox kind of thingy, got the initial starter crank I think. Some hooks a tool I'm guessing these are uh, exhaust shrouds, uh, hatch covers, the uh, jack block which has a nice detailing on it, nice surface texturing, and a lot of small stuff. So let's see it. Uh, there's the block. So there's a nice wood texture on it. And zoom out a bit, and then all the small stuff on here. You can see those are gonna be fun to get off and mount. Plastic PE. So. You can see there are more hookies. Looking nice. And even more small handles. And extra pla armor plating, I guess. And more handles and stuff. Uh, not very interesting, but probably necessary. See all handles for, I guess, for the side. Yeah, plating, so on more from those. I'm zoom out a bit. They're all the same. Two play armor plating plates, I guess. There's a lot of armor on that thing. By the looks of it. Next sprue. We're about halfway now, so we're at 20 minutes almost. That's nice. Uh, no. We got the engine deck covers, uh, the exhaust, bed, towing hooks, a fire extinguisher, tools, and all kinds of little stuff. Even more than that. So again. Nice molds, clean, tight, not tightly molded. No sink marks, no ejection pin marks. I don't see any flash. Uh, well, it's kind of the quality you can expect from a new Dragon kit. Let's see, dirty 
engine deck covers. They're gonna be fitted out with P. I saw that one in the there's some tooling. Tools. Not tooling. There's another side panel from the engine day. Uh, spacers, cooling fins, whatever. You can see all kind of they're looking good. The second spoon from that sack we got mounting again for the side skirts. I'm guessing the body is very much. <coughs> another one is here. And another fire extinguisher. And all sorts of uts and suts, as Lee would say, call it. I'm just gonna show you, show you the fire extinguisher because they're not they're pretty nicely made. You can see very clear detail on those. And on the vest, there's nothing very special on this one. Very generic sprue. You can see all small thingies. Well, it's not a generic screw, it's specific for this kit by the naming of it, but oh well. Next screw, we got major parts. lot of zimmer covered speed parts so uh, these all outside there is the uh, I'm guessing it will be the commander's coop no this is part of the uh, of the gun the gun mantlet engine deck covers no this is the bow plate this is the bow plate here goes the gone the extra uh, tracks over Everything's covered in Zimrit. Here's the driver's hatch. So this is very nicely molded. Everything, everything is covered in in Zim. You can see nicely molded Zim. Uh, we got. Let's see what all we were there. Everything is covered in zimmers. You see, that's right, and there it is. What I meant, they're even specially adapted zimmers going around and around and around. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. The second sprue, the fenders. Guessing this is the gun. Yeah, there's rifling in here, so this is definitely the gun. I'm uh, trying to let show you the rifling in a second, guys. Uh, this is the engine deck covers, the hatches. This is the front plate uh, with the gun entrance. And I'm guessing this is the roof plate. Okay, wait a minute. Actually, this is an additional front plate with and without Zimmerit. Yeah, okay, this is specially for the Zimmerit one. This isn't a generic brown bear one without Zimmerit. Then come the ring because they got changed with that one. And this is the uh, front plate. We got one Zimmerit on the other sprue. Yeah, this this is without this is every component on the front and top without Zimmerit and these are the Zimmerit components you have to change out for. Uh, let's see if I can show you the rifling in the barrel. I'm not sure if it will be possible. Oh yeah, I can see it there. The light's gonna catch it, so that's nice. That's nicely done. Otherwise, it's very anti-slip texture on the fenders. You can see. There. It's all very nicely modeled again. 
Um, like I said, these are the components with Zimrit. You have to change out for those ones on these ones. So. Stuff again. I was thinking of getting maybe a metal barrel for the kit, but seeing that barrel with the rifling and stuff and being one mold out of one part, uh, I don't see why. So you don't need a metal barrel for this one, that's a cool thing. What do we got here? I see another antenna, I see another machine gun. This will be the bow machine gun, being with a lack of detail to be honest. Uh, this is the gunner's. Will this be? No, this won't be the gunner's seat. I'm looking for the gunner's seat because I want to see the detail on this seating. Another front plate, and, and then we got a whole lot of small things. So I'm just gonna get over this one with you. You can take it in. Yeah, so you some hatches without the zimmer, so I'm probably somewhere with zimmer. Uh, the transmissions and all small stuff on there. That's the extra machine gun I was talking about. You can see the lack of detail on this one. So that's probably the bow machine gun. There should probably be uh, some hooks. I'm guessing there will be a uh, option to mount a machine gun on top, but I'm gonna look for that in a second again because I don't think it has two machine guns uh, gun parts, yeah Ele elevation, directional, uh, range finders uh, stuff, ah oh, there's the gunner seat with the texturing oh, yeah, there really is with a nice leather, leather look and uh, yeah, I don't know. This looks, this looks textured, but doesn't feel textured. I don't know where the camera gonna pick this up. Maybe we're gonna play with the light a little bit. You see, the light won't catch it. Ah, oh, there you see it. You can now see that there is some texturing on there because. The light won't reflect it and the camera picks it up very strangely. So there is some texturing on this one. This is I don't know. You can hear it a little bit. It isn't smooth. So that's cool. That's that's very fine very very fine texturing. Almost like a cloth. Oh, give me a second, I need to plug you in because my cap my dad batteries are almost dead. That gun could be shaky for a minute. And you got power again. Oh shit. There goes my Windex. Uh, so yeah, this is very nicely. I'm very intrigued right, with that texturing there to be honest. Never thought I could make it that fine, but and there is something here in the back as you can see. I probably can't see. Where is it? There in the corner. So something fall off already. Well, I really need to put it back so I know which is which. Who's up to sprue? Let's see what we got here. We got this is one big one, so these will be multiple duplicates because these are the road wheels. We got four sprues in this one, and each one is one unique, so got two, and these two I'll put on the side. Back in the back immediately. So, 
So, return roller, sprocket wheel and idler wheel. No, not idler, only the sprocket wheel. And the return rollers and the suspension mounting parts. Yeah, that's very special. I'm going to show you the sprocket wheel. No, not like that. No, we're going to do it like this. Oh, nice. 3D. This one's very spectacular. Back up. You can see the uh, the name though. That's very nice. Yeah, we've got some colors. Yeah, so. There's the nicely molded. That's for sure. And down here we got the road wheels. A little bit of flash there. And it's gone, so that's nothing special. Uh, uh, leaf suspension, idler wheel, a tow hook eyes, cable eyes, tow cable eyes, sorry, and suspension mountings. And again, not very spectacular, but still very necess necessary. Yeah, the leaf suspension. Leaf spring suspension, sorry. Idle wheel. Yeah. Cable eyes. And then there they get the road wheels oh, and the other one with the company name on it. So that's a very nice detail. I like that that they do that. Normally the the company name is only one letter off because they don't have the uh, the permission to officially use the brand names like Continental will be Kintinental I uh, just just an example but they will be just one letter off most of the time so that makes it in, or they make it like you can if you hand you with a uh, chisel or a uh, sanding stick you can that you can make the real name out of it. So you got Continental. I mean, you got the uh, and they make uh, last L. They make a U. So you just have to erase one vertical bracket and you got the L again. More gun parts on this one. Uh, oh, I'm gonna oh, I almost break something off here. So I have to be careful now. Uh, brown bear again, and I think a very lot of these parts are going back into the spare spin because I got one of those, I got one of those, I got one of those. Uh, this is another barrel. Why do I got two barrels? This one is also rifled. Okay, this is strange. I think this is the same spare I already have one in my hand. Why do I have two of these? Oh, I'm not gonna. Sh yeah, I can show you some parts. The anti-slip cover on this one. And there's some detail. That's everything because the rest. I can show you the barrel again if you want with the rifling in it. If it's gonna take. The if it picks up the light, it doesn't. So it's rifled. You have to believe me in that one. Sorry. Uh, yeah, this is a sprue I already had. Oh. No, not completely, because here's some very nicely detailing and texturing. Come on, zoom in. Yeah, there we are. See? That's nice. No clue what it is, though. Seems looks like kind of a an horn or something like that. Air raid alarm. If it's gonna fire it, sounds the alarm and everybody's running away. I got some sprocket wheel, some uh, covers. This is a uh, generic pencil for spruce, so most of it will be gone, not be needed inside in the build. So, um, those sprocket wheels are very nicely molded. It's the way they are. M uh, attached to the sprue, it's kind of screwed to be honest. But you're probably gonna be able to place them the way so you 
Oh no. Oh wait a minute. I was I spoke too soon. Because if you look from the other side. Look from the other side. You see that attached on the top and not on the teeth itself. So they, they did think about this one. That's nice. This will make clean up very easy. That's cool. I almost spoke too soon there. And the last bag of screws. These are all identical screws. I will get one. And again, this is a generic. For the Panzer IV with the wheels. And these are all, this is all screw A, so yeah, we got row wheels here, suspension, suspension arms, sparks. <coughs> Sorry for that, guys. And yeah, not too bad detailing again. Let's go over it very quickly. Yeah, over f almost on 40 minutes. So. And the leaf spring. Again, nicely molded, extra wheels, suspension stuff, like I said. So, put this back in the bag, and that concludes this review. I'm gonna put everything back. This one. So, the Dragon. Sturm Panzer 4 Brombeer, the early production with Zimrit. Uh, what do I think? What is my thought about this kit? It looks very nice. Very nice heat. Like the Zimrit looks almost perfect. Uh, you got a shitload of spares. As you've seen. Uh, it doesn't even fit right in the box again. So I have to figure out. Ah, oh, this is probably the way. Uh, yeah, it's it jam packed that box. You can see it there. Well, for me, there isn't a, that much piece, and I like that one. Also, I'm not a pea lover. Who you, whoever knows me knows that. So yeah, I think this is going to be a very intriguing build. It's not uh, by any means a quick build, but it's going to build up being a very nice example of the Brombeer. So it's the second one I have. Uh, this is a, a milestone ahead of the other one I got. So I'll probably use that one as a test bed and this is going to be the main build. So I hope you liked the uh, review. If so, comment, uh, subscribe. If not, shut up and go away. And uh, hope to see you next time. Bye bye.